friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and today it's Friday so it is weigh in day. We're going to talk about the Weight Watchers workshop topic, we'll talk about my week. I am officially four weeks or one month post-op cosmetic surgery. I'm going to give you guys a little bit of an update and we're just going to chat about our weeks, our weigh in and the workshop topic. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Again, subscribe if you're not. We do a weigh in every Every Friday and I do upload five videos every single week. Don't forget to check out the description box down below where you will find nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized macros and calories. This is how I lost 90 pounds last year and have lost 140 pounds total. I highly, highly, highly recommend having your macros and calories done game-changing, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to chat with me directly or for accountability. Links, discounts to my favorite things, and my Facebook group. Come join us there. We would love to have you. So let's talk about my week, my weigh-in, and the Weight Watchers workshop topic. Friday friends. I hope you had an amazing, amazing week. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm feeling pretty good. I turned a corner this last week in my recovery from cosmetic surgery. I woke up a few days ago and just felt really good, like 70% better pretty much overnight. And as this week has went on, I've been feeling better and better and better every day. I would say I'm feeling about 90% back to normal. There's a few things that are still a bit of an issue for me. I do still have some pressure and soreness in my chest area and the incision on my back is healing, which is amazing, but she's itchy. She's very, very itchy and a little bit uncomfortable. I'm still not able to raise my arms above about right here without it being uncomfortable. I feel like a pull and a tug on my back and in my chest. So obviously working out is still out of the question. However, however, we had a huge NSV, a huge milestone this week. You guys, you guys, on Monday of this week, I took my first 30 minute walk after four weeks of doing nothing, of sitting on the couch in recovery and recovering. I got out and took a 30 minute walk. It was absolutely glorious. I actually uploaded a reel to my Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, come follow me where I showed my walk and you can just see in my face how happy I was that I was able to be outside and take a walk and move my body. I shared with you guys last week that I felt kind of fat and flabby and sedentary and just sitting around doing nothing and I was over it and I'm feeling really good that I'm now able to walk and I have walked every single day this week for at least 30 minutes and it feels incredible. I honestly feel, and it's probably all up here, but I honestly feel like everything's kind of toning back up and getting back to being a little less flabby, which listen, I'm going to take it. If I feel that way, I'm feeling more confident in my body. I'm starting to see some of the results of my cosmetic surgery, which is really exciting. And yeah, I'm just feeling really, really good. Finally feeling really, really good. My hope is to go back to boot camp at the beginning of July. That is my hope. I reached out to my boot camp instructor. Actually, she's messaged me almost every day checking in on me, but I let her know that my plan was to come back the beginning of July. I do want to give my body the rest of June to recover. And my plastic surgeon actually said I could go back to working out at four weeks, which was Wednesday of this week. And there's, there's just no way with not being able to lift my arms over my head and with just still being a little uncomfortable and having that pressure. I don't think lifting weights and going to boot camp is a very good idea. So I'm going to listen to my body and really give my body all the time it needs to be fully recovered before I go back to lifting weights and boot camp. And this is hard for me. I really, really, really miss it. I can't wait to go back, but I'm so grateful that I'm able to at least exercise daily. I've really been focused on getting in my protein because I know that that's going to help me recover, help maintain my lean muscle. You know, I don't want to lose my lean muscle and just keeps me full as I'm recovering. I've definitely been a little more hungry since I've been more active. So I've been really utilizing protein and fiber to keep me full. Now, speaking of fiber, you guys know I love Bellway. I have their collagen and fiber. I have their super fruit and fiber. Troy actually loves the watermelon collagen fiber. I'll go ahead and pop a picture right here for you. He actually utilizes that every single day just to help keep things moving and keep things regular. Bellway has recently released these little guys right here. These are the Bellway Organic Super Fiber Gummies. Oh my gosh, these are delicious. 
So fruity, so, so berry. These are the raspberry lemon flavor. These gummies help improve your gut health, smooth moves, relieves bloating, clear skin and healthy hair. They're heart healthy and they actually help keep you fuller for longer. We know that fiber contributes to fullness. The Bellway fiber gummies are USDA organic, vegan, there's no sugar and they're kosher. Some other fiber gummies out there don't have these benefits. 95% of Americans don't get enough fiber and this is just a great way to supplement in a healthy way. A serving size is three gummies. There's 20 servings per container, so just under a month's worth, and there's 10 calories. I don't track these at all. The ingredients are really good. There's organic chicory root fiber, agave, water, pectin, natural flavor, citric acid, fruit and vegetable juice for color, sodium, citrate, and organic stevia. So they're actually sweetened with stevia, so there's no added sugar, and these are really, really, really good. I actually haven't taken mine today, so let's do that. So here's what they look like. And again, a serving is three gummies. They taste so good and gives you four grams of fiber. Now women should be having between 30 and 35 grams a day. Ideally 50 grams or more is what's considered to be ideal for fiber. And this is going to give you four grams in a really good kind of sweet, tasty way. I have Troy on these as well. So I definitely need to hop on the website and order some more. The great thing about Bellway is you get free shipping with all orders over $40. And if you buy more than one bottle at a time, the price becomes lower and lower. And I also have a great, fantastic, amazing discount for you on top of that for Bellway. So I will go ahead and put that here on the screen and link it down below for you. So before I share my way in for the week, let's talk about this week's WW workshop topic. And that is going out to eat. Try these stay on track tips. Now you guys know that Troy and I go out for dinner every Saturday. I would say that on average we eat out one to two times per week and I think these tips are a fantastic option. I also have a video out on how I manage eating out and staying within my macros and calories so I'll link that video down below for you but Weight Watchers has some tips and tricks for us as well. So try this. If you can map out moves and make decisions ahead of time. Save up weekly and rollover points leading up to the meal for more flexibility. Look up the menu or ask your host and pre-track your meal. Going to a friend's offer to bring a low point dish. Eat a low point snack before leaving home to help Help you stick to your plan. Now, what if you have to make on the spot decisions? Start with a brothy soup or salad or choose zero point foods as a main to make room for drinks and desserts. Zero in on low point code words like grilled, split an entree with a friend, take half home or order an appetizer as your main course. Use an appetizer plate at the buffet to help keep your portions in check. You also need to make a backup plan. Almost out of points, weeklies too, before you even order your entree, here's some tips and tricks. Step one, remind yourself it's okay if you eat more than intended, but don't totally give up. Step number two, decide about how many extra points you're willing to spend and order accordingly. And step number three, when you get home, track the meal and plan and pre-track what low point foods you'll eat the next day. Sometimes we have days where every single thing just plays out exactly how we want it to be. And then some days we have days where nothing goes as planned. This is the same issue when we're away from home. We can have all the best intentions when we go to a party, a gathering, or out for dinner, and our whole best intentions can get completely derailed when we get there. That's why planning ahead a little bit, making sure that you eat throughout the entire day, don't starve yourself all day and save all your points and calories for the meal because you're going to overeat, I guarantee it. Make sure you eat normal throughout the day. Just choose lower point, lower calorie food so that you have that extra bank for when you go to dinner or go to the party. I mean, it's summer, so it's grilling season, it's barbecue season, it's cookout season, it's beach weather season, and we can really get derailed during the summer. You would think that the summer is the easiest time to lose weight. Honestly, it's the hardest. For me, I'm more successful in the colder months than I am in the summer. So we want to make sure that we're planning ahead and making sure that we have a little bit of an idea what we're doing to navigate eating out. You also can't control everything, and there are going to be days that you go over your points and calories, and that is just fine. What you have to remember is weight loss is an 80-20 approach. 80% you're on track, you're hitting your macros, you're hitting your kit points, you're hitting your calories, and then 20% of the time you're living your best life. And that includes maybe going over your points 
in calories. It's what we do 80% of the time that's going to lead to success. Focus on consistency, not perfection. Nobody's perfect. And as always, I do want to share three fast facts from Weight Watchers with you. Number one, according to a global study of almost 5,000 members, 59% said they find it difficult to make healthy choices at special events. Number two, planning ahead for what to do in these situations can help you stay on track. And number three, successfully navigating these experiences increases your confidence that you can do it again, helping the journey feel more livable. Like I said, 80%, we still have to live our life. We can't never go to another party or cook out because we're trying to lose weight. We need to learn how to navigate these events and we need to be okay and allow ourselves some grace during these events if we go over our points or calories. This is something that's a big struggle for people. I hear this a lot with my coaching clients and you guys know I'm all about living my life and going to events and just having high calorie days if I have high calorie days or high point days. You just have to give yourself some grace and do your best to navigate eating out, summer barbecues the best that you can. Remember, give yourself grace. It's not about perfection. It's about consistency. So now let's jump into my weigh-in. I mentioned last week that I actually lost 0.4 even though I felt fat and flabby and that my goal for the remainder of my recovery and really possibly moving forward is maintaining my weight. I'm going to reevaluate that like I said once all the swelling is gone, my body's back to normal, I'm back to being able to work out the way that I want. So just maintaining during this recovery process is something that I'm shooting for. Now I mentioned also that this week I've been much more active I actually have gotten at least five to 10,000 steps every day. And that includes that 30 minute walk that I'm loving taking. So that's going to help contribute to being in a calorie deficit as well. I eat all my calories. I eat all my protein. I even went over my calories a few days this week. I had a donut. I had a cookie. I was living my best life this week. And I, when I stepped on the scale today, I actually lost weight. I am down an additional 0.2 pounds. Now that's pretty close to a maintenance, but I still am considering point to a loss. Hey, a loss is a loss, whether it's point this or full pounds. So I feel really good where I am with my weight. Like I said, I'm feeling a little bit more confident in my body. I will go ahead and pop up here on the screen my current weight as well as how much I have lost total. Now I do still have some swelling. I do still have some inflammation. I'm certainly not back to normal when it comes to how my body is. So I don't know what's going to happen with my weight moving forward. But what I do know is that I'm going to do my best on a day-to-day -day basis to stay on track. I'm going to enjoy my summer. We're going to my in-laws this Sunday for a barbecue. We're doing burgers and baked beans. And I ordered my father-in-law these amazing frosted sugar cookies, golf themed for him for part of his Father's Day gift. And I'm going to have a cookie. It's all about balance and it's all about consistency, not perfection. Father's Day falls in that 20%. So it's okay to enjoy the day. And for me, I just get back on track the next day. So I'm excited about where I am. Like I said, I'm so happy to be walking again. I'm feeling really good. I've turned a corner and it feels amazing. So now I want to hear from you guys. Let me know how was your week? How was your weigh-in? What are your thoughts on giving yourself grace and enjoying the summer? And what are your tips and tricks when you eat out? Definitely leave them down in the comments. And of course, I'll leave my eating out tips and tricks video linked down below for you. And if you enjoyed today's video, I'll give it a big, huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not. I do a weigh-in every Friday. And like I said, I do upload five videos every single week. Don't forget to check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching. Links and discounts to my favorite things and come join our Facebook group. Follow me on Instagram. We'd love to have you. Happy Friday, friends. Happy weekend. Happy Father's Day to all the dads out there, including the dog dads like my lovely husband, Troy. I hope you have an amazing Father's Day. You are amazing and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.